Hey, I'm at a small cemetery in Ohio, and I wanted to point out that usually whenever you see the obelisk as the ones that are very, very prominent in this video, that indicates that there are masons buried there. They love the obelisk because it's a male phallic symbol. Now what's interesting is somehow I just focused on three obelisks in a cemetery. So let me use this as an opportunity to talk about the three obelisks that represent the uh, one world system. First of all, the one we call the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. is a giant obelisk. That would represent your rule and government. There's another obelisk called the uh, Cleopatra's Needle and that's in the city of London proper. Not London, big London, but the small city of London that goes all the way back to ancient times. And that would be the center of money. And that would constitute the one world economy. And then the third one, uh, the third obelisk would be in Rome, in the Vatican, Vatican City. And that obelisk there would represent the uh, one world religion. So the three obelisks that you need to focus your mind on would be the one in the Vatican City in Rome for the one world religion. The second one would be in the city of London, in London, England. There's London, uh, the city of London proper that goes way back past uh, time and even before, I believe, Roman times. Um, that would be money. And then the third one would be the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. would represent government and power. So those three obelisks will tell you about the one world system or the new world order which is being implemented right in front of our eyes right now. But back to this cemetery, uh, just the idea that anytime you're in and around a cemetery and you see obelisk, uh, please know that most likely that underneath there in the earth there's a mason. They love to use those for their um, markers after they die and you can see a handful of them here in this particular cemetery. Some of them get worn down of course by wind and weather. Again, it's a phallic symbol and represents the shaft of Nimrod. Nimrod, who was a mighty hunter and not necessarily a, a hunter of animals and game, but a hunter of souls and wanting to capture a soul for evil and to create the one world system in honor of the devil or Lucifer. Now let's talk about the one who defeated the power of the devil, the Lord Jesus Christ, by his death on the cross and his resurrection. So you need not fear any of this one world system as long as you remain in Christ. I'd like to thank you for watching.